I do have a little bit of a rant, if I may. This is uh, long overdue, and you are echoing the sentiments of many of our colleagues. I want to be clear about this, that this is not a direct... I'm not making a direct run at any one particular person. Sure. Okay? This is not directed at one particular person. I don't actually know who's responsible for it, honestly. But, I mean, I have an idea of who, but let's get into it. <laughs> so we have rankings on TexasFootball.com. Sure. TexasFootball.com yeah. slash rankings yeah. is where you can find our Texas high school football right. rankings. We take them pretty seriously. We do. We do. Um, we split them up. Um, I do some of them. Matt Stepp right. does some of I them. some of them. But we have a, an ongoing conversation about right. it, and it's the kind of thing that we come together and decide, okay, these are the 10 best teams in, you know. In, We're in, certainly in not certain perfect. Class. We have our own no. little biases in how we judge for sure. teams for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. But I think we take it pretty carefully, pretty I think, seriously. I think we take it with the appropriate amount of care. Right. Okay. And you'll notice if you go to texasfootball.com slash rankings that we have a 6A ranking, top 25, yep. a 5A ranking, top 25, yep. and then we have two 4A rankings, right. 4A Division, Division one, 1 and Division 4A two. Division 2. And that is because the UIL pre-divides 4A Division 1 and 4A Division 2. Correct. So there can be 10, that we can have the 10 best teams in 4A Division 1 right. and 10 best teams in 4A Division 2. Mm -hmm. We can have a... Uh, a hypothetical conversation sure. about who would be better, but oh, they right. are essentially irrelevant to one another right. because they will not have to beat one another to get into a, to, to win a state championship. Right. There's right. no reason to rank them together. There's another set of rankings out there. You may have heard of them. The Associated Press. Yes. The Associated Press, the, they take votes from all over the state, take votes from all over the state, and it is it is a poll. It is, a, it is more of an AP poll than it is AP rankings. Right. And I'm not even going to take issue with how they have some teams ranked. There are some teams that I think they have overranked. There are some teams I think they have underranked, but that's 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 fine. That's a difference of opinion. Sure. That there are other websites out there that do Texas high school football rankings. Right. They're not the same as ours. we disagree with. Right. And that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Here's what's not fine. <laughs> so the AP does not divide 4A, 3A, and 2A into divisions. Correct. They just have all the 4A teams, Division One, Division Two. Slam together. Right. And they rank those 10 teams. Yep. And normally this wouldn't bother me. Right. But we have an issue now in the 2A AP rankings. This is going to seem so trivial, but it just grinded my gears. As There's well. an extra point on top of it that I'll add. Refurio. Yeah. Okay. Refurio was the number one team in the AP's 2A rankings. They are the number one team in our 2A Division they are one the rankings. indisputable number one team in 2A. Oh, okay. You think yeah. so? Yeah, for me. Okay, yeah. I I think that I think that there is a reasonable argument to be made that Bremond or Ira Ann are better than them, but I think that's a, that's a difference of opinion. It's a difference of opinion, but I, I understand what you're saying. Refurio went and took their first loss of the year right. this past week when they played Geronimo Navarro, who's a top ten team right. in four A Division two. Yeah, they are unbeaten. Yep, they are a very good team. Yes, they are also a school with an enrollment of five hundred and ninety seven. Right. Refurio has an enrollment of 206. Yes. Okay. And it was a one-score game. They lost. Uh, Refurio lost 14 to six. Really hard-fought game. Right. Physical. Right. Great game. Great game. The AP drops Refurio from number one to number three. And honestly, that's okay. If you want to make a decision and say they took a loss, I want to drop them in the rankings. Doesn't matter who it's to. That's fine. You just you took that, an if L. If you just say they take an L, that's important. Correct. We need to we need and to it's reflect important that. To know, this isn't one person making this no, decision. This is, it's this it's is the voters. The voters. So they lose. They drop to number three. Yeah. Who do they drop to number three behind? Bremon yeah. and Ira Ann. Yeah. Who are division two teams. Right. Refurio does not have to play Bremond or Ira Ann to win a state championship. Right. They do not have to play either of them. Yeah. So why are we putting them in the same rankings as Bremond and Ira Ann? This is essentially, this is like saying ranking Brock ahead of Refurio. Okay? Yeah. Because Brock, a 3A team, right. has as much to do with Refurio <laughs> as Bremond, a 2A Division II team. Right. Which is to. nothing. Right. Nothing like, to do with one another. And here's where it gets worse for and me. And it just, it drives me, I'm sorry, I yeah, promise I want to let you have, have your thought, but it drives me nuts that this is such an easy fix. Yeah. You divide them. You have your rankings reflect the reality of the situation that the UIL has laid out. 
We have 2A Division 1, we have 2A Division 2, they do not interact, so why are we, why are we acting as if they do? That drives me nuts, and it's driven me nuts for years. And it is an easy fix that the AP simply won't make. And, and it, it drives me insane because it makes the AP rankings at anything below yeah. the four at the anything below the five A rankings. It makes them completely and totally unusable. Right, and and the reason that it's very clear that this change needs to be made is because the AP needs to protect the voters from themselves. Because it's pretty clear they have no clue what level Navarro is playing at. Like mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. damn well, there's a portion of those voters who saw Refurio took an L. Oh, this team. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, they lost a team they shouldn't lose to. Well, no. I guarantee there are people who don't realize how much bigger Navarro is than, than Refurio, and that's how we got here. And I understand. Here's the thing. I understand, and, and, and I even don't even blame the voters, okay? I don't blame the voters I because do. a lot of the voters, the voters are doing this. They know their own region, okay? Right. For example... Uh, I want to use an example. I think he's an AP voter, but Mike Foreman, our friend Mike right. Foreman down at the Victoria Mike's Advocate. Mike's great. Mike's a great dude, yeah. friend of the program, right. friend of Dave Cannell's yeah. Texas football. Good, good dude. Yeah. If you were to ask Mike Foreman what he thinks about El Paso Eastwood, right. I don't think he could tell you that. Right. And that's not because he's dumb. It's because his job is to cover very intensely the teams in his area. Right. Right. So, so I don't even blame the voters. Right. What I blame is the AP. Right. For not setting up a situation that reflects reality. Right. They are doing this in this alternate reality where we only have one set of 2A teams. Right. That is not what happens in the real world. Right. And it just, it, it makes the AP, and, and, and then what drives me nuts is that people take the AP ranking seriously then. Right. And they are completely useless below the 5A level. Right. Because they do not pre-divide into divisions. Yeah. It just... It also, honestly, it trivializes those programs. That's the other thing. Yes. Well, we don't care enough about the smaller schools to delineate and make sure that they're prioritized in the right way. But the 6 and 5A guys, we make sure we rank them the right way. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, that's that's another part that really ticks me off. I just, I don't know. It, it, it's something that, if you couldn't tell, it's something that that's bothered me for quite a while and it's just now, I don't know why the Refurio thing put it over the top. For it's example, we have we still have Refurio as our number one team in 2A Division One at yeah. TexasFootball.com slash yeah. rankings. And you know what? I am willing to have a conversation about whether or not we should have moved Mart ahead of them. Mart right. is five and zero, right. and they got a great win over a good right. Centerville team. Yep. I'm good. willing to I'm willing to have that conversation. Right. We personally feel that Refurio is still the best team in, right. in 2A Division. Not going to penalize them for playing. But a that is three a times reasonable argument. Yeah. Here's what we're not going to do. We're not going to rank. I don't know. Allen <laughs> over Refurio. <laughs> we're not because they don't interact with one another. They have no. They have no. Nothing in common. Uh. Nothing in common besides the number next to their, next to their next to the A. That's it. But we are completely and totally ignoring, with these AP rankings, we are completely and totally ignoring the the reality of the situation. It's going to be okay. I just, uh, it, it, just right. it just drove me nuts today. It it's drove right. me nuts when I saw right. that. It's going to be all right.